the mainstream, the studio machine. I want it my way. Indie film nation. I want it my way. Indie film nation. Going all the way. Indie film nation. You know it's gotta be. Hi, I'm Nina Hatchwell and we are here live at Rain Dance for Indie Film Nation. I have with me, next to me, the very talented film director from Mexico who is not only very talented but he is well advertised for his <laughs> film. He has a t-shirt and a cap on with his name. His name is Miguel Nunez, right? Yeah, you said perfect. Miguel Nunez. I can speak Spanish, I can't really. Um, and he has a film out, a Mexican film that he shot in Mexico called, here we go, Levanta Muertos. Do I say that Perfect. right? Perfect, Levanta Muertos. Levanta Muertos. Uh, could you tell us what Levanta Muertos means, please? Yeah, Levanta Muertos it means uh, lifting the dead. And it's a uh, slang for a uh, soup in Mexico. Uh, like, like when you hang a hung, you have a hangover, it wakes you up from the, oh, the you know, wow. being hungover, and you feel better. Wow! Like, so that's like a, a hangover soup, like the Bloody Mary in like, in London. Exactly. Uh, in England, rather, uh, yeah. Bloody Mary. Yeah. 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 Like it, it wakes you up, and I use I like to use this slang because uh, it's actually a dark comedy. You know, it's okay. named like that, but it's about a young man who picks up dead bodies for the coroner's office oh, wow. and uh, you get to see different situations where he does this and he gets involved with a girl that likes sadomasochistic sex <laughs> and he's very shy so this girl is kind of, kind of wild and and then you see like kind of like the spark of life so for him. she brings she awakens the fire in him yeah yeah well one of the he kind of like breaks his routine of okay. the dead and all that. And wow. also another character in the film is a pig. A pig? A pig, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's called Homie. And <laughs> Love it. Yeah, it's like like a companion. Mm -hmm. Like when you see the film, you understand, you know, like the importance of the pig. Right. and how. I mean, and working with pig was hard, but we made it. And um, when is it showing? It's screening on Monday at 6 p.m. and Tuesday at 3.15. I'm gonna try and catch it. Um, I just want to ask you quickly a little few technical things. Like, what did you shoot uh, Levanta Muertos on? Yeah, we shot it on the Red One camera. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's a truly independent production because it had no government funding at all. Usually, the films in Mexico, the 90% they have government funding. And uh, myself, after I went to the Werner Herzog seminar I, after that, the Rock Film School. And I was so excited and I was so eager to make a film. I couldn't wait a year or two until the government decided to fund my film. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I had my script uh, and I had my band and my pre-production ready. I went to the University of Baja and they let me borrow the equipment. So I borrowed the equipment and also I borrowed some money from LA, like an investor from Los Angeles. And I was able to rent equipment, professional equipment from LA and bring it to Mexico in order to shoot the film. That's so cool. And um, did you write the script yourself? Yeah, yes, I write it. I, I wrote the script uh, on an internet challenge, the script frenzy. I don't know if you hear about it, but it's write a hundred pages in one month. And I was, I felt so ready that, I, and it was it's one of those things that you gotta set a deadline in order to finish a script. So the first draft, uh, draft I was able to write it on one month. And obviously the rewrites and all that, it took like five more months, mm -hmm. but it was great, uh, especially for this film. It was a lot of fun, the writing part, because I had to interview the people who does this kind of job. Mm -hmm. You know, I went and meet to the people that picks up the dead bodies. And my hometown, a lot of people died of heat strokes during the summer because it's like, like 50 degrees. And uh, they told me like the slang they use for picking up like the, the people who died from heat strokes, you know? The, they, they call them uh, chapsu with rice. Okay. <laughs> you know, they call them chapsu with rice because when they pick them up, it's how it feels, you know? Oh, that's, that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the messy, you know. <laughs> and and what you like you can see, it's a lot of fun. And, yeah. And uh, knowing this, you know, I learned from them that that uh, they had a lot of a sense of humor mm -hmm. in order to do this kind of job every day. They have to have a sense of humor. Just to uh, say a few words to about where your film will go in the like after Rain Dance. What's the life of the okay. film? Okay. Uh, after the Rain Dance Film Festival, we already have a distributor in Mexico, cool. and also. He's gonna. They're gonna distribute it in the U.S. Uh, I think on DVD. Yeah. They're returning to sell it to cable TV in mm -hmm. the United States, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to. This is our premiere in Europe, mm -hmm. so we are we are hoping that we're gonna go to other festivals in Europe, and we haven't screened yet in LA. We're gonna have a special presentation on November 1st to the 3rd at the Egyptian Theater. In LA. In LA. At the Egyptian Theater in LA, first to the 3rd of. For November. Exactly. Um, uh, yeah, so we should all look out for Levanta Muertos. Yeah. Levanta Muertos, people. Rain dance. This is Nina Hatchwell signing out. Bye!